for sure. But also, quick note, it's Bankai's birthday. Let's see if Mystery ruins it. <gasps> it uh, is his birthday. Um, he's a young, fresh, ripe 18-year-old Squirtle right now. Um, Aw, he's a babe. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so starting off the game with Squirtle, I actually really like this. Squirtle puts on the kind of close range pressure that is, can be difficult for Marth to deal with. Yep. Like as soon as he gets into Marth's zone, and Marth's mm -hmm. character also is less, like he's not quite as dangerous at combo breaking as say Lucina is. Yep. So Squirtle doing that is just that much better. But how does he get off ledge? How does yeah, he Yeah, I, I can tell, especially once he, oh, I thought that was an air dodge. <laughs> he's going for it. And uh, so, so I feel like Squirtle, he switched off right away, so I didn't really get to see how that would work in this matchup, but Ivysaur, was not doing too well from that mid-range because uh, he just kept cutting him while the vines weren't doing anything. And the Charizard just got ganked. So now we're back at Ivysaur. Um, he had, you know, well, he's probably not getting killed anytime soon unless we get that. Well, okay, you no, know, that's the thing is that Ivysaur can actually kill these percents. Like Charizard, I don't think really can reliably kill here, maybe back air at the ledge, but Ivysaur can get like falling back air to up B, just up B shenanigans in general. Those up B shenanigans, man. I know, I know Bankai, uh, Wap, and also uh, Justin Wishes, uh, they, they love to talk about the gospel of Ivysaur up B. Um, I love but I so mean, we're on Charizard right now, and uh, never mind, we're on Squirtle, three stocks to one, Mr. E right now. Uh, well, I mean, it wouldn't be a real birthday celebration if it didn't go to like a three stock combat, you know? Yeah, of course. He's trying to, he's, you know, he's setting himself up. But um, I don't know, he's cutting him right now. And Martha 120 is spooky right now because I would be, I'd be. <laughs> he's almost <laughs> dead. <laughs> yeah, such an Ivy sword. He's gonna do the uh, quick switch. Oh no! Okay, oh. he's trying to get the counter on the up B. Respectable, but no, we're, are we dead? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you're done. I mean, I guess he could have beefy up B there and maybe caught him. Yeah, I mean that was his only option, but I, I, I don't know. It's kind of whatever. We still got a good stock lead by E, so. Um, so like I, I wasn't aware of this, but everyone knows that you know when you footstool Squirtle in the side B, you have like ten years to punish him. Like, oh, I don't even know what just happened. Uh, I think he tried to do like a ledge dash or something like that, and he died. To oh. fight again. Well, Marth lives to fight again, um, and I can finally understand him. <laughs> uh, I miss the Japanese voice actor. Does, I mean, the thing about the English voice actor is that when I lose to him, I feel like a little bit less like I'm losing to anime. Fair enough. I like Roy's English voice actor. The, the new Roy voice actor is godlike. Um, the Marth one is a little weird. Um, Did he speak English in Smash 4? I don't even know. No, it was the same same voice lines, I believe, right? All right, so you can do it, Squirtle. Marth not saying a damn word. Um, Silent but dead. Yeah, so... Bongai, we've been seeing minimal Squirtle, and I wonder if he's just like not confident against these these sword discharges uh, with Squirtle's tiny limbs. He's really been getting um, caught off guard by forward air. The big yep. one is forward air. Like he's trying to like go for like tiny little macular yep. spacing. Why the forward smash call out? Oh, he's cutting him. The thing is, Ivy is a thick man, so he can, he gets hit by these things, and all you hear is some Ivy. Going, swapping to the Charizard right now. Oh, and he puts himself a little bit committally in the corner with that switch. Oh, I love changing right there. That, that was a good change. That was a good change. Buffer that comes out first available frame and gives you some some brief period of you're not there, um, which is good. Uh, jabs. Um, Sometimes you just not want to be there when Mr. E is yeah, there. Definitely. He's very, very good at space. Raise leap up B confirm. Uh, all Pokemon trainers watching right now popping off because that gets them hype. Um, and back Charizard. Air, finishing it. That back air hitbox is not what you think it'd be. It is like kind of upwards. Super armor on the up mm -hmm. really nice. Um, it is not really what you'd expect. I actually really like the idea of the forward tilt from Charizard right now. Just dashing back and forth. Yeah, and I expect him to stay on Charizard until he loses his stock just to get that extra credit with this big boy. 45% so far, not too bad. Oh, he went for it. He went for it. He went for it. I respect it. And he's still alive. I don't know if that was like a not right hitbox or. Um, or what? Okay, <laughs> so second Squirtle's out. He, he knew he was going to die and just like, I need to fast track to Ivy Sword. <laughs> Take advantage of the invincibility. Okay, so let's see what we can do with Ivy Sword here, because this is a few up tilts away, a few tippies away. He pretty much has both the emotional uh, and, and the percent lead right now. Why are people saying emotional advantage? Did I miss when this became <laughs> popular? <laughs> um, so let's see how he's going to get back on stage here. 
We have Squirtle out now, right now. I wouldn't be surprised if he just buffers Switch. There you go. Um, but Mystery was ready for that. He knew. He's yeah. like, he's going to be scared to be Squirtle. He ended up going to Ivysaur, but Ivysaur's not working out that great for him because he's still tra trapped on ledge. Mm -hmm. That is one thing, is that uh, ledge roll got buffed yeah. in terms of speed. And Mr. E, who's normally really good at ledge guarding, knowing that option, okay, now he's covering it. But it's a bit more of a actually can trip him up as opposed to Smash 4, where he would just always react to it. Yeah, so this is, the, this is what I imagine is exhausting, because you're Charizard, right? You're this big man who keeps getting whacked off stage, right? And you're just going to eventually snap and go for things like side B. Because you're getting hit a lot, but you're also living longer because he's a big boy. So, Bankai just couldn't fucking, sorry, couldn't take any more. So, we just decided to side B. Um, and now we're on last side stock. B needs to be a command grab. There, I said it. Okay, let's see if we still have Squirtle out in the next five seconds or if Bankai opts to switch out. Uh, so, for those of you who actually don't know, when he charges up the neutral B, it actually stays with the switches. So if he switches right now and then goes through the whole cycle, coming back to Squirtle, he will still have the ch water gun charged up. Okay. Well, it seems like he's opting to use Squirtle on the offensive now, which is the, the most we've seen of Squirtle this whole set so far. So. I really like that. He has not really... I feel like he's been holding on to that. The drop-off aerials, mm -hmm. because Ivysaur has the range to do that, even yep. against Mark. Oh, no. He's getting caught right now. Aww. How do you get off ledge? Did he just oh, fair, fair. Birthday bears? Okay. Um, I feel like this is getting scary, but we're at, we're at Charizard right now, so we're in Shield Monado. Uh, <laughs> we're going to live a little bit longer, unless we get Tippy something. Except, unlike Shield Monado, he can actually kill like this. Yeah, okay, so let's see. what This is a bit scary, if, if probably, because Charizard, Max Rage, Scary.com, no, no tipper on the fair. Oh, but he's still living. By how much these okay, the non tippers are really hurting. If he loses this game, if Mr. E Man okay, he doesn't get the yeah. tipper back here. But if he did lose that game, I guarantee you Lucina Switch would come in next. Yeah, definitely. Is, definitely. It's it's a bit it's a bit jarring sometimes because um I saw something I I forgot where it might have been just when I was scrolling through Twitter today. When Charizard crouches, he like his head goes in, in a different position on the Z axis. So like like sword moves would just like land right next to his head. It's Neat. crazy. Um, so I don't know if like that's what was preventing him from getting tippers there or what, but I mean, might have been some Z-axis shenanigans. I actually, based on the fact that he was missing tippers on a big character like Charizard, mm -hmm. I would maybe see Lucina later in bracket even. 